after a competitive Smash. 100%. Bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, doesn't matter if you have the technical skill. Doesn't matter if you have the know-how. If you're not in a good state of mind, if you can't keep yourself calm and, like, make sure you're in the zone to not get zoned, no pun mm -hmm. intended, then you're just going to frustrate yourself. You're going to play bad. You're going to start playing bad when you're frustrated. You're going to frustrate yourself even more. It's the endless cycle. And I've seen a lot of really good players do really dumb things that get, get hit with huge upsets because of that. Yeah, and you're just like, as you're watching it, you're like, like as, as, a, as a spectator, if you know what's going on, you know the rage. Because it's like, a lot of times I'll watch pros play and I'm just like, eh. Yeah, he's tilted. Yeah, he's probably he's probably pretty pissed. And then all of a sudden he does something on safe on shield and you're like, dog, what are you? Come Bruh. on. Come on! So we got top players now. We got Zanotto out there. Have you got Zanotto and who else? Um, I actually know who this is. I'm pretty sure he plays Ryu. I just don't remember his name. I feel awful. I'm only, uh, I think he came back to this scene. He played at the beginning of Smash 4. Wait, or couldn't play, and then came back for ultimate. Interesting. I don't see. I've not seen a Ryu in Michigan yet. Yeah, all the Ryu's from Smash Four and everything uh, did not want to play the character in this game for some reason. Well, Ryu got hit pretty hard. Oh well, yes, yeah, stuff like really hard actually. He's uh, just very hard to work with right now. But it's respectable that he's still trying to keep it with his old man. Pretty sure uh, as well as he is a Street Fighter player. So that'll also be a little bit more points in his favor. He doesn't have to worry about. The, uh, I'm sure the inputs are going to be a lot more natural for him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 100%. And I think that was, like, the biggest reason for him to transition initially to Smash 4. Uh, Ryu got released. He's like, well, I like Ryu. Came over, played a few tournaments, did well. And here he is now. All right, here's what we're going to do. Is starting right off the bat at the stadium, Peach Ryu. Not a matchup you see all that often. I mean, no. well, you see Peach, but Ryu. Down, that down to 20. 20! What the what? hell? <laughs> Ryu hits Hartman. Oh, but, here comes uh, the combos, though. All those full cancel aerials, 65% off of one conversion. I love Peach. I think Peach is a very, Oh, very that was cool. nice. He, can he canceled the B reverse yeah. shadow punch to go for a nair. The thing with Peach, though, is that you give Peach an inch, she takes a mile. Yup. Every time. Ooh. That looked like a Dottie Eye. I'm not sure, though. Dottie Eye is oh, very strong. A little bit of a greedy uh, approach from Zanotto. And you can do that kind of safely too by retreating off your float. So uh, I'm a little surprised you tried to cross up with it or get Bottom someone to face. Gonna be letting it phase him though. He got hit with a huge. Chip. Oh, <laughs> can't forget about that. Can't okay. forget. Jab, jab, sure you. Just gonna send him flying. So Zenodo now with the stock. Sider, get it, get it. Nah, he doesn't even want to take a chance. He's Come like, on, if my bro. shield breaks, I actually just die. Come on, bro, just get it. Oh, I like that. That was really yeah, how good. How is he not dead? You got hit with Peach up here at 159. No rage on Zenodo, I don't know. I mean, Ryu heavy. That, that must have been really good DI even so. Like, that's... I love Zenodo's spacing He's right now. playing a little bit greedy off the... Yeah, didn't get the uh, wedge snap with the uppie. So even game. He just needs to, like, be very respectful of Peach's approach options. Yeah. Which is, I think, ultimately, like, that dash attack is so good for burst movement because it also just is a little bit disjointed in front of her. She can just kind of like chain moves after one, one after another so fast. Yep. Nice. Yeah, that was a really, really good time. He doesn't have a jump, but. Gonna is he, live? Gonna live? Can he? Okay, not with Toad Wait. in his face. Smart move from Zenodo, recognizing that he was still gonna be able to get back. Did, I don't know if he had an air dodge or not, but. I don't think he was. Even then, yeah. I don't think he was counting on Zenodo doing that. Uh. That's 69%. Nice. Unless Badada. I mean, hopefully I'm saying that right. Unless he finds a Shiryu when it's an at like 70 or something, this game is getting out of hand, man. Yeah, he, he needs to bring the, get the stock taken back. He needs one neutral win. Like, just just one and he could take a stock. Not quite. He didn't get the strong hit. He gets some good damage off of it, but... The one cool it's part a, about Ryu is okay. you don't necessarily need the damage, though. You're just looking to end that stock at an earlier percent. Like, right now it would be amazing, but then there. Right, so, something I'm already noticing Zenodo's caught onto. He's he's no he understands that like when they're kind of like at the distance where Peach is normally gonna be throwing turnips. Ryu's throwing right he's throwing right now just a lot of uh, Hadokens. Yep. So he's floating just above the Hadoken, catching him always to the low in the lag, and just getting a lot of damage off of that. He did that three or four times that one game along. Especially with the Hadoken lag as well, he's gonna be there, he's gonna get a free hit, and when you're that high percent, a Nair will just kill you. And I think if I think if Barada wants to keep going like that, then he's gonna want to uh, do like short hop Hadokens instead yep. of angle them more upwards. See how it goes. We yeah, saw him going goes. over Ken for a second. I, I was I was hoping he was going to go for Yeah, Ken me almost. too. That's the funny part. He's like, yeah, you play Ryu, you probably play Ken. Be Bigger stage, bigger area, more room. 
to have some fun. Also, some uh, nice platforms to get back. Yep. See how he uses that. What a parry off the start there to stop that bear. Already just saying, nah, we're not going to have this. No, none of it. He's getting, oh. oh, nice short. That was a nice Hadouken, actually. Just kind of get him some of the pressure. Air dodge back. Yeah. Right, so now we're just looking at a. This, yeah, this is the kind of the link he's going to start doing that. So Zenoda just kind of just floats above it. Gets hit by that one, though. Yeah, he probably thought he would just land, so he's trying to go for a quick dash, dash tag oh. something. He got really close to the ass on there. Nice. Ooh. Gets the ledge snap. And. Fo oh my god. He focus punches through that and then just goes for the Shoryu. And it's like, as a Noto, you know, you, you think you did a good job there. You're like, oh, I probably did. Alright, I got him. And then <laughs> you just get Shoryu. It's like, what the hell? Come on, man. And he's going to whiff from that back air. 132%. Still got his up. He's able to get back. Well, that's a regrab. No punish from Zenodo, though. Goes for the Shoryu. He gets it. Nice parry back here. Still alive. 145. Zenodo going to use that turn up so effectively. I don't yeah. know if he could have tech there. I think so, but... It depends on the turn up. If it was a normal, probably. It was, um, a, it was a normal. Yeah, then probably could have. Alright, Zenodo already getting his down tilt, but he doesn't get anything else off of it. Bada da air dodge is in this response. Nice. Ooh, I kind of like Bada da uh, chasing aggressively on these platforms. Zenodo doesn't really have an answer. He's, he's just, he's, Zenodo was in a bit of a tricky spot there. Bada da wasn't able to get what he's looking for, though, so we're just, Zenodo gets stage control again. Even if Bada da cleans his stock up soon, right? This isn't that bad of a game for him. And he uh, does all. have Zenodo at this percent. One one conversion into Shoryu, he's, he's just dead. There's nothing you can do at that point. And percent. we've seen him mix up those jabs so well, just in the middle. He's got like, Saturn neutral. again. Oh, wow. Yep, there it is. Jab, jab, Shoryu. Wow. Stock lead for Barada. So now he's just to get as much as he can going. He's just got already 9%. Yeah, he just wants anything here. He wants to get him above like 40. Very, very smart. He's being very smart about his focus punches off stage. Never throwing him Not too early. Not that one, though. Does he have his he has a jump. Oh, oh, he reversed it. He had, he's looking at his controller too, like, hey. Like, why did you do this to me? Come on, man, you can't do that. All right, so now we're just back to last stock. He's, oh, it's oh, a great grab. Goes for the, uh, wow. He's just kind of like. Stay grounded, just trying to play neutral. Yep. Uh, but if you stay grounded, then sometimes yeah. you just get hit with that. And down tilt, you cannot smash. check in this game, so man, it, it, it hurts. Ooh. Goes for the uh, dash attack. So no, just still a little bit under it on the ledge. Yep, goes over that and uh, down the uh, Ooh. Gunner. I trouble, love that punish to trouble. jump over. Oh my god. Very nice air dodge. That Nair was so sick. He jumped over This, this is anyone's game. Tatsu. If Baradar gets one opening, I, I think Zenodo might just be dead. There's a lot of area and room on the stage though, so it is kind of hard for them to uh, yeah, you can't, break this. You can't spot dodge that. That's yeah, no, nice double things. hit. Double hit. Air dodge back. He is his trouble. Tatsu? Tatsu. No. Oh, no. the bear. So he, he, he had no other choice. Yep. I think actually, no, he did have a double jump. So we could have double jumped Tatsu. But that, if Zenodo had chosen to stay on stage, that would have gotten stuffed very easily. I don't think he was counting on him going low. Right. And, uh, and.